Today, I'm going to break the world record for the most inversions on any coaster ever. I'm including real coasters, models, Hot Wheels tracks, Marble Run. Scratch that, we're not, we're not doing Marble Runs, because that record's like 100. So besides Marble Runs, we are beating all of those records. So uh, let's take a look at the current record holder. This is our record holder for real life coasters. This is the Smiler, located at Alton Towers in the UK. This coaster flips it down 14 times, which is also the same number as the world record Hot Wheels. However, this is not the highest one, and this is not what I'll have to beat. This is what I'll have to beat. This roller coaster flips you upside down 20 times, built out of the same building system I will be using on this project as well. So all I have to do is get it over 20 loops, or inversions of some kind. However, I think we can agree that this looks kind of boring, just a bunch of loops in a row. So for my build, I'll be going for more of a spaghetti bowl kind of model, something like Poltergeist. It's gonna look sick. So where will I start? Well, I'm gonna start with the end. This is the brake run, and it's just the section of track at the end to slow down the train after all those crazy inversions. I'm gonna be building backwards to minimize speed loss. This makes so I can cram as many inversions as humanly possible. And with one out of 21 inversions complete, this project is officially underway. The next element is this right here. It is very rare and only one was ever built and it is now defunct, so I'm bringing it back. And now that I've finished three inversions, we are officially one seventh of the way done. With the next element, we're gonna be heading up into the lift hill, but it's not just gonna be any ordinary drop. This drop is gonna have an inversion, like the Smiler or an RMC barrel roll down drop. So I built half of a down drop, but ended up ultimately going for a wing over drop. Same kind of idea though. Up next is one of four lift hills that'll be used to propel the car through the whole layout. With the lift hill now complete, it's time to get to work on inversion number six. And with that corkscrew complete, I decided to throw another one in there because I could, I guess. And instead of going element by element, why don't I just jump to the halfway point and we'll see what I did. Here we have another element that I completely made up, but it duels with my other double inverting element, so it's pretty cool. After that, I built the vertical loop and this wing over drop into my second lift hill. Anyways, let's run it for a test. And with that, we are more than halfway complete at 11 inversions. 10 more to go. After another hour of work, I am now tied with the Smiler at Alton Towers at 14 inversions. One more, and if this is a real roller coaster, it would have the world record. And with that, we now have 17 inversions done. Only four more to go. Also, I don't have much purple tubing left, so the rest of the track will be red. Right as I started building, I did a test run and something's not working right with the first part. Mm -hmm. 
Listening back to the video, you can hear a clanking sound on this element. So I inspected it, didn't see anything, and I rolled the train on it and also didn't see anything. I ran it a couple more times and the same thing kept happening. So I decided I'm gonna beef up the wing over drop. It's the part with the most g-force, so it should be the part to help the most. After stiffening up the track, it's time to give it a test and see if the problem is fixed. Now that that problem's resolved, I continued building and built a cool roll into an S-curve. After the curve, I built a dive loop into another element that'll sort of be like that green one back there. After so many weeks of building, we only have one more inversion left, and it's just gonna curve up and dive down like this. It's gonna look pretty cool, so let's build the last inversion. And with that element complete, we only have a foot and a half left of track to build, so let's finish this once and for all. Well, time to finish the journey once and for all. And the very last cross tie. Oh, the project is in place. Cut this up. And then, just like that, pop in the splice. Put that together. And just like that, the project is done. And while the project was done, the room certainly wasn't. It's a complete mess, so I'm going to clean this up before I show you a new world record. That, my friends, is a new world record. Um, if you would, please like the video. I put a lot of effort, so yeah. Thanks, bye.